Hello everyone. I think that we are live. So welcome to Frenchie Create on the Fly. I'm France Martin. I'm an independent demonstrator with stamping up at frenchystamps.com in the US. So meaning in the US, anybody in the US uh, can shop with me. So thank you so much for your support. Tonight, um, I was debating what we're going to do, and I decided we're going to do a triple twisted um, easel. Then that before with the gnomes, it, but I'm going to use the memory and more cards again. So I'm going to use the pretty peacock one that come. It's two weeks in a row. I'm using them, but or really three. Another one was on Facebook though. Um, that it's in the mini catalog on page i want to say 30 something oh that's the wrong one i know it's in the back one minute there where here it is so it is on page 44 or on page 76 so you get 20 cards 20 envelopes 10 of each color 10 in calypso 10 in um pretty peacock the size it's four and a quarter by six and a quarter so it's three quarter longer than our regular card the card come with the the base so that's the um pretty peacock i don't know why i want to say early espresso tonight or calypso and you get 10 of each and it's a very nice size thickness okay and um the envelopes they're decorated the inside of it the flower some of them like to rip it apart and make cards and cut this and use that like a paper whatever you do i like to use it as a, a card base um some people are going to say i make 40 50 cards with this that whatever you like i like to use it as a card base the way it is so we're going to use that tonight for a triple twisted um, easel and then I did one last night before going to bed um, Brett had come back on a long trip and he went to bed early so I came back in my room and I was like hmm I think I'm gonna try that because I have no clue what I'm gonna do tonight so um, and I wanted to use back the kit and I'm like oh I think that would be good so we're using the chicken set too so let me flip you i need to remove this here my keyboard there okay so last week we laughed um with the glue dots i just used them at the last minute right um so if you're not new to this channel thursday night it's uh i i call it create on the fly because most time i don't even have a clue what i'm going to do and come and create but also I feel it's family night. And the reason why I say family night, it's because my regular dead joint, I feel they're part of a family. I mean, they tease each other and so on. And then it become that I'm a big fan of glue dots. So they say, every time I use glue dot, they're gonna have a sip. So welcome. I, I really feel you guys are part of the family, right? So welcome and I'm gonna flip you down and we're gonna get jiggy with it. Here we go. So let me move that there. Uh, the stamp set I'm using, it's a chuck. And when I opened that, um, I don't know what card or so on that I did, but I had a lot of leftovers in this. So I think we got enough of that for tonight. We're gonna make sure before we get started though. The way that the card's going to be done, I want to have a little bit um, to write, and it's kind of tough to write in the inside. You're going to see. So we're going to write here, and I'm going to do a birthday card. So we're going to go ahead and, because I'm going to stamp with Stamping Blends. So with Stamping Blends Memento ink, it's lovely, or our regular ink. So you could use this a different color than black, but... I'm going to put that right here now um, and you're going to ask me well why not stays on stays on and um, blends don't merge together so remember that 
Now I want the crazy one that that is a crazy one, but this one here for I like this one with the cake. It's like she's bending down to go chew that cake. So um, I don't know how many of you follow me too on Frenchie uh, Stamp on Facebook. Uh, two weeks ago, I shared people was asking me about my um, packing up burner behind though. Have to be careful asking me you know keep asking me how my chicken are doing they're doing great um they're very spoiled um i call them they come like a dog they follow me like a dog so i did a video and everybody comment on peewee peewee it's the little rooster became a rooster i got five um and and then one rooster and i get five eggs most days it's crazy even in the winter well little peewee and bread don't get along too good so it's very funny so peewee gets some blue i should have had a picture um of him he's a very get very very pretty color um yep i exactly i'm pretty much like a little island and my chicken roam all around that's true but now i i don't know what i'm going to do you know they they left some little package here and there and my porch i'm like uh we're debating this how we're going to process that because it's good but i just wait till it freeze and then go shit off but when it don't freeze it's not as funny though but you know what i got a good room and water i can have that gone right so coming back to peewee peewee gets some beautiful blue on his tail and so on and how many of you that think that because you get the gobble gobble it's a rooster well i thought rooster only the rooster had the gobble but now my hand got the red head and get the red uh, bottom too so that was new to me so i don't know why i thought that was the case so i'm using lost lagoon and really it's a uh, peewee it's almost more like a flashy pretty peacock i mean it's very like maybe if i put wink of stella oh wait a minute i didn't think about that one sec Yeah, because he got all that pretty, pretty fluffy thing. Yes. So I'm just adding color. And um, I know this is called stamping blend. So you can blend the color and so on. I'm not one that really mix the color and blend. I just wing it. Or what should I say? Uh, just color, okay? Now, this one here, I just grab a bunch of... Um, this one, it's the light uh, parakeet party. That's going to be his little eyeball. Now, I'm going to go with the red. Uh, this is the dark. Uh, one there, one there. This is the dark uh, real red. So it, <coughs> the way it turns, see, it's... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me on the side there so this is like his feather you see those crazy chicken that's one of them um uh, this right there on the side that is little red thing now i got oh this is light a lot i would like darker i think uh daffodil the light light okay well i'm gonna do the candle while i get this i mean just the light gonna do their little legs excuse me the b there and that should be it now i got a crumb cake uh oops that tip is very chewed up i'm gonna do it's gonna be a chocolate cake but um okay i'm gonna do pink for like the frosting around here. Man, I need new blends there. Hmm, but this one is. Some of them though, my goodness, you need to have eat your um, spinach before you try to open them. Okay, 
And you know what? I'm going to put him some eyeshadow pink. Usually don't have pink, but I'm putting him eyeshadow pink there. Okay. I'm going to go with... Uh, this is like Cajun. I think the Cajun it's dark though. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of Cajun. Not much, but a little bit. And this is the light, but it's still kind of dark. Okay. And which color is this? Light pecan? Hmm, that should be. I want a bit of orangey there. I don't know if I grab it. Orange, I get all dark pumpkin pie. Oh, I got light pumpkin pie. That's what I need, I think. Okay, let's see. Because my chicken, I mean, Pee Wee got all those pretty color, but my chicken, they're that copper color too. I mean, you, you can Google, and I mean, if you want to, chicken purple i bet you can find some purple seriously et voila that's gonna be my chicken see he's funny is she funny whatever who it is okay now we're gonna leave that there now we need um we need three at least Okay, so the sun, it's, it's part of the dye. So we're going to do the sun. Let me um, bring this plate. And talking about this plate, if you're watching the video live, well, you still have time. But if you watch it after February 2024, the promotion for this and the 29. So if you join my team, you can choose to get this um, glass mat for free it's um you choose 125 dollars of product of your choice and you get the glass mat and you only pay 99 dollars, and it's shipped to you for free so for 99 dollars, you get the glass mat you get the silicone holder you get the cleaner you get 125 dollars of product of your choice this end next thursday so, and I'm going to say, don't wait on the last day in case the computer go down, then you're, you miss the deal. So I would say, uh, if you plan to do it, you should do it this weekend, at least. I'm starting with pumpkin pie and I'm going to do a sun. Okay. And then just. Okay, let me add Daffodil Delight. I think I still got enough color on this. I don't have to go get more color. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm going to get a little bit of pink to go in this for the sunrise. I've been watching the sunrise here. I mean, I got at the other house too, though. I had the best sunrise and here the sunrise, it's even better than the sunset here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna use Flirty Flamingo. Okay, I need to add some color. Okay. Oh, yes. Now I get that red pink in it. Et voila. So now we get the sun. Okay. Let me remove this because I get the glare in my camera that I think that. Let me remove this here. I love that stamp though. It, it's like a scrap paper that you never have to throw away. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, you know me and my door. Oh, this one is good. I don't know what project I was doing, but I get a lot. Okay, I want the big fat rooster though. I don't know which one I want in them. I want a skateboard, but see when I cut them, this is cut too off. This one's going to be good. Uh, I want a few fans. And this is all like you get the stamps, you get the dice, you get all the dice for everything in this one, okay? Uh, this one is funny. Okay, we want that one. Oh, yeah, we want the Oh, square pants, pants, whatever. See this one? Got little pants. Okay, I'm going to put that one. Okay, I'm going to put those three. I'm going to keep a few more fans, though. Just because... Uh, I don't know if I want pink uh, pants or see all my my chicken. I mean, I that's more like peewee with the yellow and the yeah, that looked like peewee there. It's a fun stamp set. I mean, seriously, it's a fun stamp set. Okay, I got a few there. We're gonna keep those one. Keep this. So anytime that you get a stamp set and you uh, decide to go to town like I did and do a bunch, because sometimes you you want to watch a movie maybe and color at the same time, put the light. Maybe put more light on the top left. Is that better? Here we go. Let's see. Um, and then you want to do a bunch, just put it in your, uh, put it in the baggies. So then next time you don't have to worry about that. Boom, you got it done. Okay. Yes, need to put the feather on his feet. All is right, because Pee Wee got feather on his feet. He is quite the, the dude. See, how many of you would have believed that um, chicken get feather on their feet, right? Perfect. Now, better. Perfect, perfect. And it's not wash away. So, perfect. Okay, see here? That's how I colored them. Okay. Now we got all this and this. I don't think I have to cut anything. Oh, I want... a. Um, this is the cloud punch, okay? And I need something to keep my easel up, and that's where that's going to come in. I'm going to stamp. Uh, you got something to crow about. Where is, oh, yeah. You got something to crow about? I like that saying. Here we go, and we're going to smack that there, and now we're going to, I need to add a little bit of color on that, though. So let me add, uh, where's my, um, oh, right here. Okay, I'm going to use Balmy Blue. And because it's the sunrise, really, though, I should have. Uh, what the he how I did with that? Oh, here it is. Here's my flirty flamingo. I'm going to add a bit of pink in this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was this morning's sunrise. Pink in the clouds. Going to leave it just like that. Okay, let's not fuss about that too much. And, oh, this one, get something to crow about. Um, 
we got the birthday so where uh it's your birthday okay let's go back here and we're gonna put that in the bag Et voila. now we got that Yeah, and chicken can be for so many. I mean, it's just something cheerful. Trust me, they are cheerful, the chicken. Okay, where is this? So it's, uh, I'm going with three. If you measure that on the long way, it's six and um, six and a quarter. Well, divide that by, it would be two, two, two. But that quarter at the top, it's eight, and at the bottom, eight. So let's put um, two. two and one eighth. Okay, you're going to cut that to your where it's scoring the center, two and one eighth. Here we go. Now we're going to go here on this side and two and one eighth. So top and bottom. And even if it's not just equal, don't sweat that, okay? It's going to be uh, per perfectly fine. It, it doesn't matter if it's equal or not. Okay, now this here should be about two inch. It is. So we're good. We're good, we're good. Okay. Now, if you want to do four, I did about one and three quarter, one and three quarter, one and three quarter. I think that's what it was. Let me measure. I'm going to show it to you after I'm done. Or is it one and a half? One and a half. So it's one and a half and the top, it's like one and five, eight and the bottom one and five, eight and then one and a half, one and a half. Okay. I'm going to show you the one. So. Now we got this. This is what's going to make our easel. Now, what you're going to do is take, we have to go diagonal this way, but it's easier to see on the white. So what I'm going to do, make sure you don't use the blade. You're going to be looking. Okay, can you see? You can't. Okay. So this is the center. You see the line of the center there, kind of, but uh, in real life, it's going to be better. So you put this in the center. You cannot tell if it's in the center because it's hard to go look through that, right? But keep this, the bottom piece in the center there in the groove. Now, here you can move it. See, you can look through your line, make sure it's right in the groove. Now you're going to take your score and score this. Now, lift this up. We have to go in the same direction. So this time, to make it easier, I'm going to lift this one because it's done. Now you're going to put that point there and where it, the other cut there, see? And then we're going to score that again. And you see, I go back and forth, right? Back and forth. Here we go. You're giving your eggs away, Scott. Like I said, here you go at the farmer's market or you go at the depot every other Saturday it's there. They sell them six to $7 a, a dozen. Yeah, Ollie was with me there. I'm telling you, it's... Okay, so again, the point there and the point there. You see, we're going in the same direction the whole time. Here we go. Yeah, and we thread peewee that you're going to go at Scott's farm if you don't smart up a little bit. He, he's good with me, but I say two rooster together, so that would be Brett and peewee. It don't go good. Okay, now the trick to this is you have to um, really score very good. Lift this up. 
fold this one down it don't you don't want to go up okay you want to go under and then take your bone folder and really score this now take the next one do the same thing go under and score now the next one under and score okay now you see so some of you i bet you're going to say oh i remember when you did the the whatchamacallit the the, mm, the gnome with that uh looking at this see it could be it look like and could be piece of cake see don't you think that looked like a piece of cake see i need to come up with piece of cake and this okay now the sun gonna go at the top okay get your drink ready because everything gonna get glue wet glue dots okay so now it's the time you want to um i like to put it right at the bottom and the reason why i love glue dot with that it's not just for you guys to drink it's for i get more control where it's going to go now i can fold this down you know it's going to go right there so i want it to go right as much as i can but i want to make sure it don't pass the top and the reason why i don't want it to pass the top because if it passed the top it's gonna won't fit in the card so some people are gonna say i'm gonna put it when i'm like this well it won't really work if you do it like this because in case if you pass it because it don't show that it passed so you want to put it down but it voila so now see it's going to go up now we're going to put which one it's screaming there but this one, I want it on the skateboard, though. Uh, oh, we're going to put this one at the top. Okay, so again, just put right, not right on the legs, because we need free it a bit, at, at the bottom of the belly. And if you're wondering why the color in the back, that it's normal. When you color with... Um, uh stamping blend it go through the paper okay so now i'm gonna put that one about here and this one it doesn't matter even if it go on top of all that and so on that doesn't matter okay it's just as long that the first one very important the first one cannot pass this okay that one and then i'm gonna go ahead and put this one looking at her there. What the heck are you doing? Okay, again, I like to use my glue dot. And it's a reason why I don't put dimensional here because I'm gonna have dimensional inside. And so um, that's the, re maybe you still can put some, it's gonna be thick, but where am I gonna put it? That's Pee Wee and his girl. Here we go. And then we're we going to put this one. <laughs> that is me sometime running like a little lunatic. Okay. Now this one, we want to make sure though. So the top one, you want to pay attention that the sun don't go on top. Okay. Now this one here, we're going to make him on the skateboard and the skateboard going to be what's going to keep the easel up. So what you want to do is put it this way here because that's where you're going to go. And I'm going to put it right here. So now I know that's about where the skateboard going to go. Now the skateboard, that though, sorry, I'm going to bust your bubble, everyone. It's not put with blue dot. It's put with dimensional. And okay. 
and now I don't know if you guys say wow that is awesome on my card or if it's wow that's awesome on the yaks and the chicken and so on I'm lifting up my eyes and try to follow that conversation and I think tonight we're going to call that uh, the farmer share <laughs> That's what I said at the beginning. I feel we are a big family. I really, really feel Thursday night we're a big family. It's all the regular one. Okay, so I got this. You know what? I almost need almost thicker. That I, I don't like the skateboard for this because it's almost too skinny, okay? Because I need something to twist and so on. I still want to use the skateboard. So I'm going to add another piece. But you're going to see when I put the fence, it's going to be better. Okay. Now, you know what? It's a little bit like a glue dot, the dimensional, so you can have. So maybe during dimensional, you have a double um a double shot okay so now you see you're gonna put that right there so let me show you what happened see she's writing her skateboard now i'm gonna put very light because you know that it's going to go under but i'm going to have a thing so I, I won't go back and forth i just going to do a little bit of a ground there because you know that i need something to go on my skateboard cannot be floating right if voila okay now that one is done okay we won't worry now we're going to work on this one so now this one here i'm going to take just the tip of my um fence roll it up a bit now you're going to take a glue dot uh, well first dimensional so i'm going to use two dimensional but here comes more glue dot and you're going to understand why the glue dot you're going to put the glue dot at the bottom, not at the top. Very important at the bottom because we want to lift that thing so it's really set there. And so two, two glue dots going to do the trick there. So now you're going to keep that there. Now you're going to put your fans right there so you see this here go flat but then it really make it lift more you get the glue dots in the back there i mean the dimensional there and the glue dot there so keep it lifted so then it's going to be easier to set your easel okay see how friendly it is now the next one though don't have to be so i just going to use just because tonight I want you tomorrow morning, you get a good headache for some. So I'm going to use just glue dots and put my fence over here. Oh, you know what? Let's put that one on top, the other one in the back. Here we go. Because this, you really want to keep it fluffed up, okay? And um, I know before, oops. I just broke his neck for heaven's sake that crazy girl here um i know before i'm done people are gonna say well people won't know how to put that up well let me tell you my friends that at 90 percent of all those fun folds we're making and all that they pretty much need a big thick book to say this is what you have to pull this is what you have to do and so on this is the same darn thing okay it's just those crazy fun pull that really um see this one i don't have that curve there here we go that you pretty much need something and now here comes the cloud you're gonna say why the cloud so now you're gonna understand so now i'm gonna roll this here except right here i'm gonna lift these two pieces up see 
and then go there. Now this year, never mind the price of the dimensional, put two good one. And again, you want to put this down. I'll lift this up here. You know what? Let's have a, another drink here. I'm going to do just like my fence right at the bottom. So I keep it up there. Here we go. Okay. So now, and I was thinking, okay, that it's pretty much done. Let me show you how it look uh, when it's all popped up. I don't like where this cape, you know what? That's okay. Let me do something with the skateboard. I know what I'm going to do. Um, it, it, it's not working good for me. So what I'm going to do, it's, I'm going to do the top here. So you need something a little bit bigger than, uh, than the skateboard. Cause you need something to really prompt that uh, thing up. So you see, I didn't use the skateboard yet. And you learn as you go, uh, this part. So the right's going to have the dimensional. And then the, the left going to have the glue dots. That's what made the big difference to all this. It's that glue dot with the dimensional. Because, you know, you get that. It keep the angle there. There and then there. Here we go. Much better. Okay. Now, I'm thinking... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead just at the legs. I didn't know I'm going to have this one, but why not? I got all those chicks up. And I'm going to put that one right there. So when I lift up, see, more up. So now I got two and two. If voila, my friend. So now can I tilt it? That's what I want to show. Et voilà. Is that fun? So that's called a triple twisted easel because you know you twist it. So yes, you would need something to tell the recipient, right? So you still have kind of place to write in here, but mm, not so much. So that's why we did this for the back. So... This is a three and a quarter by five and a quarter and three and a half by five and a half. So the pretty peacock, it's three and a half by five and a half. And then the white, it's three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this is going to come right back there. So that's what you call the part in the, the front, part inside, part in the back, all around, right? Okay, now I want to get my uh, wink of Stella, I said, for Pee Wee, because he, uh, he got that um, shine on his tail. So here, I, oh yeah, baby. Yep. That look good. It don't show much in the... Oh, you can see the sparkle. You sure can, I think. See? Is it more here or here? I can put this sparkle. This one, it just make me really laugh the way you go. Ah! That's Pee Wee in the morning screaming. So this is it. So now do you want to see the four that I did? So it's the same, but I did one with four. So now I got this left over here. And again, remember what I told you, it's keep a thing inside and then boom. So that's a triple easel twisted. Now what about a quadruple? 
So I did the same, but see, I cut it in four. And mm, I like both of them. I really like the four for this side though. See? And see, look how much it's easier to flip that. See, this is flat. Let me show you here. See, this is flat, so that's glue dot. And in the back, it's the dimensional. So it really prone that up this way so it's easy to keep that. See all of them? Oh, the bottom of the fence, it's tight, and then the top, it's lift up. And you know that what I would do would be um, a very light color, maybe the ivory, and then I would do at the bottom because I have to anchor my thing usually, right? So that's, uh, I would go very light though so you don't go through uh, the second layer. And see, I had some gray fence in there. So I just use whatever I had already cut. But yeah, I like to secure uh, my fence, whatever it is, I call that anchor. Et voila. But you don't want to go back and forth, back and forth, because uh, uh, blends would go through. So now see this one. Uh, and then when I'm going to mail it to you, it's going to mail perfectly flat. This one, hold on. Uh, the skateboard, to be honest, I think the skateboard, I would... Um, you know what? It's really bugging me because I don't want somebody to get that. And so I'm going to put the skateboard right under there. And I'm going to put, oh, that looked good, though. That looked good. Okay, let's put another uh, fence. So we're going to put the fence, just one. It helped a lot, like I said, if one it's flat and the one it's top. So we learn as we go. So here's your chance again. You know what? Almost use a full roll here. No, it was started. And then we're going to use dimensional. And I'm going to put it right above here right at the edge there. If voila, oh, much better. Okay, that make me feel much better because I didn't like that. It didn't puff that up a bit. Uh, it didn't want to stay up. So now it's staying up no problem at all. See, I can move it, it stay up and so on. Here, here we go. Much better. <laughs> Peewee stay smart. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. Those two, Brett and Peewee together, I swear, I get the show sometime. I cannot stop laughing. Okay, so that was it. So again, uh, if you watch this after February, uh, you still can get all the supplies. Um, well, while supplies last, I'm sure, because soon we're going to have a new catalog coming up. But or right now till uh, February um, February twenty nine, you can get those card and envelope for free with a qualified order. Okay, so that it's called a triple twisted uh, easel or I mean quadruple here, right? So this was the same last week. We done this. Remember the orange crush. Um, the winner of last year, last year, last week, it's Telma Angel, 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 Telma, you're a lucky winner, and Carol Grove, a lucky winner. So both, please go at FrenchyStamps.com and uh, send me your mailing address. I will mail that inside another envelope because it it's not a regular envelope, right? So I will mail that in another envelope. So when you get it, you still have the full card that you can uh, use. So 
celebration, my friend, it's almost over. Like I said, next uh, Thursday, it's over. So uh, the great deal to join uh, my team and get, so you can get, choose $125 and pay $99. 125 of your choice of product, pay $99, you're going to get the glass mat, the silicone uh, mat, and then the cleaner for uh, and free shipping for $99. If you don't want the glass mat, you already get one or so on, uh, you can choose $155 of your choice. That can be from any catalog. You cannot choose a celebration product, though, from the mini a celebration brochure but anything at the value you choose 155 you're going to pay 99 it's going to ship to you for free with either kit doesn't matter which one you're going to get a paper pumpkin you're going to get catalogs and uh, all on top of that and it's still the 99 dollars and shipped to you for free so any question for me i wish you guys could see the picture like oh i know how to do it one minute one minute i think i can see is that fun and i i like the sun in the back right and this is the one we did and see i i added more character i think it's kind of fun so any question for me tonight? I look like the chicken. See, Jesus. that's that crazy one there. I have to. That's that one. <laughs> the one in the back here. Yeah, I think they all get a character. I mean, seriously, all those chickens get a character, just like my chicken. They're short. Good entertainment. If you don't know what to do with your time and you can uh, have some chicken, get a few chicken and let me tell you, they're going to keep you entertained very, very much so. And uh, people were saying, oh, uh, something about my dog, you know, well, trust me, they, they were not born that way. That had to do uh, some training on both sides, on the chicken and then on the dogs. Sometimes um, Pee Wee like to uh, go like this and then go down to Biscuit and Biscuit go down anything you want to play. But no, Pee Wee wanted to attack Biscuit. They're so funny. But overall, I just put them all outside and they're good. So you guys get enough glue dots, I see. So perfect. So enjoy the rest of the night. Everything's going to be in La La Land for you. So I'm glad you join me. I'm, jo I'm glad you enjoy your drink. So till next time, happy, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.